Hey everybody, my name is Mariah. I'm Chris. So, uh, how did you start writing the song? I've been curious to know. So the idea came from the word praise that was in my head. And um, I started reading Psalm 100 and literally just taking each verse from that scripture. And like, if you read the first verse of Sound of Heaven, it's literally copy paste the Bible. Literally, I just had the word praise. Like when I first started writing the song, I had like a voice memo. I don't even think it's the same melody, mm. but the voice memo was just called Praise Idea. And uh, I don't know how I came across this verse. I think I searched the word praise in the Bible <clears throat> or something like that. That's like awesome. searched a word and then came across Psalm 100. When you sent the song to me, it was one of those moments where we were already in a songwriting session and we were writing, writing a song, a writing a lot of songs. Um, strong songs and it was one of those songs where it came you know around evening time and I took a quick listen to it I didn't think too much about it I was like oh it's a nice song you know cool but we're writing this song we're in the thick of it yeah we gotta stay focused um, and so once that song I remember being at work and I decided to play it again and I couldn't believe that I didn't stop everything that I was doing before the first time you sent it because it hit me in a way where it was just a praise, an invitation to praise and celebration. Um, and so I loved, loved, loved the song. Uh, and then I think we sent it immediately. Right, we sent it right away, right away um, to you know, the folks who review the songs. Uh, and uh, Adriel actually listened to it and loved it and had the crazy idea, <laughs> crazy idea of switching it from 6-8, which I couldn't, I we couldn't even, believe. I can't even remember it in 6-8. <laughs> couldn't believe it. It was so good in 6-8. Switched it to the time signature of 4-4 four, four, uh, and it, immediately brought a brand new... It was like exactly what I wanted it to be like. Right, right. It was so great, so great. Uh, and from there, we brought it here. Mm -hmm. Literally to in like, this room. To test it out uh, with, with the team. Uh, actually, I don't even think, I think it was like after the night and we were kind of just singing. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, Pastor was like, let me hear the song. <laughs> right, right. It was one of those moments where it was like, we, we tested out other songs, and then we started singing this one at the end, and everyone was like, oh, hold on a second, huh? What's this, what is this song? And I think that's the moment where it was birthed, and in a true way. Um, and then I remember we were at the table over there, and Tyler came over and was just, he had this idea for a bridge, and was just humming it, and da 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 mm -hmm. da 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 da, and the whole room could feel it. Yeah, whole room could feel that. It's like you want to just jump, like. All oh, right, right. Um, and so from there, we were basically assigned to go home, mm -hmm. finish the song, finish it, finish the song. Uh, and so I think it was Psalm 145. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't even know how we ended up in Psalm 145, but. If you read Psalm 145, verses 1 to 21, that whole entire thing, that is what verse 2 is. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think a little bit of Joshua is in, um, is in the, the bridge chorus. and the chorus. Talking about like the walls of Jericho falling down. The chorus. Trumpets. The chorus. How do we forget about the chorus? <laughs> when you sent it over, that's so funny, when you sent it over, you did this little thing at the end of the chorus where it didn't oh. have lyrics. <laughs> I was planning on that part not having lyrics too. Right, it was right. just supposed to be like a shout. Man, that that it sums the chorus up in a way where, you know, all the earth we will sing to him. It's just like heaven, praises echoing. Let the trumpet sound, 
let the walls come down. It's the sound of heaven. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Praise his name, right? It's one of those like, it was so funny. That, that welcome and that invitation. So um, I think once the song was put together, I think it was put together, I think we finished it that night. It was really fast. Um, and from there, it took a life of its own. Um, and I really think that the church, anytime we do it at church, anytime, you know, we just sing it anywhere. I feel like it just creates a spirit and a presence of praise and invitation um, to just celebrate uh, what the Lord has done. Um, and I love the song. I feel like it embodies a lot of just like what heaven would be like. Right. And I feel like our church already kind of felt like that. So right. it's like, right. it's perfectly right. like impact. It's so good. You know? It's so good. I remember having a conversation with Adriel about writing more songs that are literally just based off scripture. Like, I think there are a lot of worship songs out now that talk a lot about how we feel and how like being in his presence makes you feel. But there needs to be more songs that talk about literally like the Lord, like that's it. Like, right. Let's give him praise. Like, And we intentionally didn't put any eyes, right. use my right. me right. in right. the song. Right. Right. Like it was literally just like you, like right. that's it. And that's that aspect of that invitation and that welcome to um, praise the Lord.